Welcome to the Sports Gala Show. I have another athlete with me here today. Uh, she is two times gold medalist in the recent 2017 Southeast Asian Games in wakeboarding. So here's Sasha Christian. So, how did this wakeboarding thing come about? Right, so it actually um, started with my mom because mm -hmm. my mom used to be a recreational water skier. Okay. And um, she started already after she had me and my brother. So when we were kids, she would bring us down to the river while she water skiing. We'd just play on the beach. And okay. eventually, that's how we started. So I started oh. really young and I uh, started water skiing first. And then when I was a bit older, I switched to wakeboarding. And again, it was just really for fun until I was a bit mm. older, like 11 years old, and I took it more seriously. Oh, wow. What? makes you want to continue doing this? What's so fun about this sport? Well, it's really just, um, I love the progression of the sport because every time I get on the water, it's like, how, how can I better myself? You know, mm. what tricks can I learn? What um, new technique can I try? What can I keep enforcing? Mm. And like, yeah, I just love it. Like, it's kind of like, almost like an addiction, I would say. So, um, okay, for a noob like me, <laughs> um, so what does a uh, wakeboarding competition entail? A uh, wakeboard competition, what we do, we have to perform a run. So we have a start point and an end point, mm -hmm. um, and then the boat will turn up, turn around, and then we do it again. We call it like two passes, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we can do about five to six tricks per pass. Okay. So in total, about 10 to 12 tricks. I and see. there are three judges um, judging us based on our competition run. So where's the best place to train for wakeboard? Though? Well, there are a lot of good places around mm -hmm. the world, but I like Florida, Orlando mm. in particular. Yeah, I saw yeah. your photos. They're yeah. really nice. It's, it's, such a, it's such a privilege and like a blessing that I'm able to go to such a place to train. Mm. Do you yeah. train with like professional wakeboarders there? Yeah, I mean, I at the wakeboard school I go to, mm. um, Coach Fletcher, my coach from over there, he trains a lot of pro wakeboarders, so I get mm. to sit in the boat and watch them yeah. wakeboard as well. That's very inspiring. What kind of training do you do? Just on the water or do you do gym? I do a lot of water training, but I also incorporate trampoline training and wow. gym work. Wow, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, trampoline training is actually very like um, beneficial for us because mm. there's only so much you can do on the water and everything happens so fast yeah. on the water that like, okay. if you take it out onto land, it's a bit easier to process. Uh, what's the biggest challenge that you face as an athlete? Like two biggest challenges which mm. kind of like tie in together, you know, like trying to learn new tricks and mm. recovering from injury. Mm. Because, you know, when you're trying to learn new tricks, it's a fear of getting injured. Yeah. Then when you do get injured, how do you kind of recover from that so that mm. you still have the same confidence that you learned? Oh, so what kind of injuries do you usually um, have? I've been very fortunate. Mine have not been like super serious injuries mm. so far, such wood. Um, recently, I um, had a partial tear my, uh, my MCL. Okay. And last year, I was out for like six months, seven months. Um, wow. Because I had a... A fracture on my um, tibia. Yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, that one was kind of like I had no. Honestly, I don't know what was wrong with me. Yeah. I was training. My competition season season was just about to start, so mm. I was training really hard. Yeah. And um, I was practicing my competition runs, yeah. and I knew I was gonna. I went early on the trick, yeah. and on normal any other day I would have just like taken the fall, but yeah. because I was trying my competition run, I really wanted to land the trick, so I landed straight leg. Right on oh, top of the weight, and God, when you're coming down God. from that kind of height, mm. and your knees are like locked, like something's yeah. gonna happen. Wow! Yes. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> but I mean, like it was, it was six months out, but mm. it was actually a really good six months for me too. Like, I got back on the water in January this mm. year, and my mindset was completely different. I see. Yeah, so do you go to like you know this kind of the wave house in Sentosa? Can you actually do it? It's, it's the know, same, right? Yeah. Uh, you know what's funny? I've gone there before, really? but that thing like scares me a little bit. <laughs> really? Like, I mean, that is, I mean, mad respect to the flow riders out there because it's very challenging. It is. It's How fine. is it different? It's fine, but it's challenging. I, I don't know. Like, I mean, there are no fins on the board. Mm -hmm. And, and it's nothing. And it's nothing to hold. <laughs> you do hold on to something. Because our, like, our, our safety um, net, right? Mm, our our yeah. handle, there's no handle there. <laughs> and there are no fins, so it's very slippery. Mm. Yeah. So for someone out there who's interested in the sport, how can they join or I mean, try it out? There are lots of ways to do it. Mm. If you are interested like in wakeboarding, mm. um, 
just head down to the marine uh, marina country club, mm -hmm. Ongol Marina. Mm -hmm. Um, there are lots of there are three different wakeboard companies out there. Okay. And it's just a fun way to start. Even if you're just doing it recreationally or whatever, like it's a it's a great like um activity for family and for yeah. friends on the weekend. Do you have to know how to swim? You don't particularly have to know how to swim, but you should be comfortable in the water. Mm -hmm. So if you fall in the water, you're not going to freak out. That's mm -hmm. very important. You have a vest, mm -hmm. so you're floating, plus yeah. the big rock floats as well. So as long as like, you're not going to like be afraid when you fall, yeah. you're okay. So you do have a few sponsors. Yes. Yeah. Can you name some of them? Uh, all of them actually. Um, <laughs> I got signed um, with Red Bull, part of the Red Bull family this mm -hmm. uh, Sorry, GoPro family this year. And I've been with Red Bull um, since 2010. Mm -hmm. And as well as Red Bull since 2010. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, how did these partnerships come about? Well, with, um, I'll talk more about GoPro. Sure. Because I've been a huge GoPro fan, mm. like, you know, ever since the start. Yeah. But, you know, um, I, I saw your <laughs> videos, they're amazing. <laughs> I love GoPro, mm. and um, I didn't own one, I was using my brother's. Oh. And so, like, someone suggested to me, like, why don't you write to GoPro, mm. you know? And so I did, and uh, we kind of like cultivated that relationship. Yeah. And eventually, it was the GoPro distributors from Singapore's um, Outdoor Sports and Travel. Mm -hmm. and um eventually after like two or three years they linked me up with gopro yeah yeah nice directly and so basically it's about taking the initiative yeah and find. like really just finding like because i like genuinely love gopro mm. and i'm very passionate about yeah. it you know that's, like that's just point. the device and so like yeah. that really helps as well and if they can see that you like love the product you know and mm. what better way is it to like show yeah, them that's great um what is the best advice you have ever received Best advice um, from my, my water ski coach in um, Florida, his name is Chad Rady, and he told me that whatever you do in life, always be committed to excellence. Wow. Yeah, and I love that, like being yeah. committed to excellence in whatever you do. So yeah. if, even if it's in your sports, in your family, relationships, um, your job, you know, always bring all that you can do. Like, mm -hmm. you may not like it, but you have to do it. Yeah. 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 So what's next for you? Next for me, I am looking forward to the World Championships mm -hmm. that's um, supposed to happen next year in end of March. Okay. And um, I haven't gone for the World Champs since 2013. Okay. So it's kind of like... Where is that? Um, that is a really good question. I'm not so sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the official like announcement hasn't really been made yet. Mm -hmm. How does it yeah. feel like out there? Like, oh, it's crazy. <laughs> it's hard. It's really difficult. Mm -hmm. And um, I, the last few years as a weak border, like, um, on the world standard, mm -hmm. um, the I've been really pushing myself, but it's very difficult. Like for me, like I don't have the same tricks that the other girls I have see. to make it to their level. So I'm just I'm still trying to push myself to be mm -hmm. honest. So it'll be really interesting for me to see where I stand. I see, nice. Yeah. So when you say pushing yourself, what does it mean? Well, I've been. Do, I've been trying to learn new tricks. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's how I hurt my MCL. I see. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's it we have for today. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank for, you so much for having me. Thank you so much for having me. And for the viewers out there, if you want to get to know um, Sasha more, you can go to her Facebook, Instagram, yes. pages. Um, I'll put the links below. And if you have any feedback, any comments,